Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome to another episode of um, Resurrecting Iowa State's uh, College Football Program for subscriber Brody Kramer. And um, we're doing pretty darn good. This is uh, our. This will be our eighth game. Uh, and this is a game that we have had circled on the calendar the whole season. Texas Tech. On paper, uh, they are probably the best team in the Big 12. And you can see they're ranked number 14. We are ranked number 12. So this game has huge implications for both programs. Uh, let me get my eyeballs on and my ears on, and we'll get into it. Um, they are 4-1 and one in the conference. We are 4-0. and oh. Hence, we are ranked ahead of them. Um, but if we take a look over here, here's, a, here's some important stuff. We look at the bowl projections, and right now, Iowa State, where are we? There we are. We have secured a spot for right now uh, in the Fiesta Bowl. You can see our opponent is yet to be determined. So, um, but we're there. We've got, but more important than the Fiesta Bowl, which is, you know, we, so we've got a major bowl bid, and that's great at this point. Now, all the, I don't normally look at this stuff this early because it changes, but more importantly is right here. Uh, the playoff picture, we are number three seed, if you see right there, Iowa State, number three. And we are slated at this moment to uh, play the winner of Alabama and Michigan. Uh, so this game has huge implications for us. You can see in here that uh, Texas Tech is not um, in the CFP yet. If they they want to beat us so that they can get in there and maybe knock us down a notch. So um, like I say, this game has huge implications uh, for both teams. Oops. Um, I want to go back to here. So... Uh, I'll stop flapping my jaws and let's play football. All eyes on us. Coach Brody Kramer and the Cyclones will be ready for their top 25 matchup against Texas Tech. Here we go. on this one. B will be my check down. B it is. Flip it and try it again. It's time we're looking at B. Not there. X is there. Not there. That's all right. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can Try a little trick play to him. Want to hand off to Jackson for the round. The toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally. 
Try a speed option on it. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll run the option. Now the toss. And they'll shut him out of the one. We will not punt. No, sir. I'm going to try anyway not to punt. I should probably punt. Well, let's try it. We're deep in our own team. Well, we're with almost at no midfield. No intention to draw the defense off sides. They want to run on fourth down. Slide. That worked. What do you know? off to Lee, I think. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Higgins could get a touchdown here if we can run that safety off. He's Got it. Oh! Oh, uh, he was there. So, number nine is where I was trying to go, but I didn't adjust the blocking. There he is. He's open. You see him break up, up here at the top? He's open right there, but we got hit and sacked right there. 51 got beat by number 11. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Let's try it again, though. Oh, yeah, this will work. This will work. I can get some blocking. Um, there we go. Right back up nope. Up on oh, it was there. 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 Should have stayed with it. Because it was there. Dang. Ah. Uh, It was there. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. They want to just keep... No! I 
I don't want to see this. You can get enough air under that. Touchdown to him. needs a break. All right, man. I got got that pick six out of my head. Gee. Oh, uh, well, maybe not. It's on the outside. I'm maybe curious just... to see how much man coverage we're going to see. I forgot what player called for me. Uh, that was not to be. 
Cyclones ready to go on offense. Not to this could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it good, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the top hand. Now this offense probably has a chance to take You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Be open. Going up top on first down. Oh! It's incomplete. Oh! I see that very often from this guy at second down. Close. He's got to finish the play for the wide receiver. He's got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Now on second down. I'm going to streak the back. Put double pressure on him there. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the lineup. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Oh, ten. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to stop the right guy. I, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really bad. Nah, that was bad. That was bad on my part. I might have surveyed the middle of the field. Maybe. See what that safety does. They're going to cover three. On second down, wants to throw it. Setting up the screen. Oh. Four to the bad angle. Just enough pressure on him, I think. Uh, they won't let me do it. No good. And after the miss, field goal, guys, we're going to be locked up. Uh, nah, not that That's much pressure. Like that, that. That's a kick that you Woo!
after getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Watch the throw. It's back. changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing that zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive coming. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires to the big time. That was made, but not until he gets the first down. Ever since they invented the polar pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is the so first formation or they can release and come out but either way if the quarterback's patient most of the time that drag route's going to come up and they'll line up from the 31 on first down a little pre-snap eye candy for the defense Wide receiver. wide receiver coming across in motion. The running room. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch. Oh, I forgot. 
fantastic. You try to take shots and make big plays, they get to the quarterback. Ah. They get on the ground their third sack of the day. And this is a unit that ranks in the top ten in sacks in the country. Ah, that was so bad. And they have converted their first two third down opportunities, but this one a third and long. Looking for a man, it's back. He's got his man. Really nice job there by both guys. The ball the catch with one dead defense and get the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money man. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job blocking his receiver. At the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And the Cyclones will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out quickly. That completion will take it right to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find the rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. You can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here. Got it. Snap it from the 32. I like A on this. 
Nope, they got him.
almost got there for a block that time, I think. I'm right there. Yeah, I was just a step late. My guys are slow. That's one of the problems with uh, Iowa State is they really don't have a lot of speed. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. Give me a wall, give me a wall. And a wall. Oh, and he's coming out of that zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Iowa State sending the offense back out. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect try this to here. change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down here. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game. Right up this the middle line. This has been a juggernaut. And they have a chance to tie it in. Their total just before halftime.
like, man, if I didn't throw that pick six, this game would be OVA. Over. Okay, I need. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye uh, on it for us. I like it. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the I want field. The middle line they find guys. themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You gotta get some points on the board. You gotta create some cover, cover six. They're gonna to try to throw outside. outside. This should take away the outside. Trading touchdowns. So if the crowd acts like it's a disaster. Come on. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. They've got time. They've got the lead. And David, it's sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but... So is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it. So just what do you think Snoop could be creating some momentum for the other side? I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead and have to make it like a second. I can't stop this. Looking for A. 
the clock is ticking down on you. his raw power this young man is the total package and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator this kid can hit the ball ah. and hit the home run in the passing game and with that let's send it back to the guys at Jack ah. Trice Stadium so we have to kick and the Cyclones will boot the way to start the second half. Oops, red lined it. Matt, we knocked it out. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25 yards. Yeah, these three wide receiver sets just Texas destroy me, man. The Red Raider offense on its way to the uh, field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece, and this is coach speaking, very simple. A score. Mm -hmm. That's in front of the right. A score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one driver. Almost got that. It's going to have to be. They put the mindset offensively as quickly as they're going to have to score every time they play. Because our defense has been struggling, but have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for the Cyclones. Nice job by the running back, catching the football and understanding where the first down was. Pass. Wait, 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 wait. Challenge the play. That should be an incomplete pass. Right there. Oh no, he had possession. He took a step. Oh, okay. I thought it was an incomplete pass and so he couldn't pick up the fumble, but I was wrong. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not the challenge. All right, all right. Snap it from the 34 on first and 10. He's gonna pass. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. And it was an interception, but a lot of times tips and deflections leads to interceptions. Great job by the defender getting his mid on the football. They'll line up for a second down play. Why? He fumbled out of bounds. 
so uh, the officials I take a the wrong look in the replay booth will overturn the call. Oh man. Uh Solid pick up of four on first down. It's second and six. They're set up for this. They're ready. If we can get wide, and we couldn't. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice play by the defense. But now, but it's a play that they haven't been able to stop. This running back to go off in that first half. And moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. It looks like a cover three, and they're in a, a, a three, what is that, a three, three, five? Okay, so the play originally, the, the halfback number 26 was just going to swing out um, to the uh, left, but with the routes that everybody else was running, which I can't bring up on a replay, um... There's, I, I decided to streak him because see where the safety goes back there? He goes to his right because we have three receivers on that side. So my check down was a guy coming across right there, but they're in man. They're in man. Okay. How are they in man? Well, they got, because we have the three receivers on that side, so the safety back there goes, cheats over that way. So now... It's the running back on the linebacker, and he's got the speed advantage, and there it is. My check down was actually taken away. My check down was this guy right here coming across, but he's in man coverage. Now, our lineman pancaked the other linebacker, boom, right there, number eight. But my check down was covered. I mean, I could have got a pass to him, but not really. Yeah. So, that was the right change and the right read. See that safety? He's coming over, but he originally had gone over to the right to, to help out with the three receivers that were set over there. And so now he's going to be a step late. Then it was just veer to the left and outrun that guy. Woo! Good play. Okay, come on. Uh, let me call my play. Oh, don't tell me we're stuck. Did I get it stuck? What happened? The game's stuck. 
Oh, don't do this. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Don't do this. I, I think I have to call a timeout. There. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Let's go to the studio now and check in Ooh. with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? I can't believe it. Um, what's happening in a great college football matchup? SMU is putting on an offensive clinic. Almost reminds me of the days of the great football. So Olympics. all the work I've been doing on offense is paying off. It's time to create a turn my attention to the defense. Thanks for the update on that one, Kevin. Defensive play, but but another break is needed. I'll be right back at you. All right, so that should give us uh, 13 touchdown passes on the year and 13 interceptions. <laughs> at least we're even on them. We were down. You know, we were behind. We had more going into the game. You know, we had. 10 touchdowns, passes, and uh, 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 12 interceptions. But now we're 13 to 13. <laughs> All right. Um, what are they going to do? I don't know. I think they're going to run. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the Oh, I missed the tackle. That was me. I got a bad angle. Uh, One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch. I should have taken control of him. I should have just let him do it. Probably would have made the tackle. Progression, David, hits you in stride. These guys have taken control and it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between the wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Not all of it, but. Help. I blocked it. I blocked that. Wow, well, it's close. Right? See, I took control and missed the tackle. Gee, one play. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. Gee, it should have been a lot more than that. From inside the 10 yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to Man, that. Man, that just pisses me off. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones did that. ready to go on offense. Okay, Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about great balance. We're running out of gas. Look, when you throw that ball, spin the ball. So the defense has to They're playing man. Effect. Oh! And they can't connect and the gamble does 
not work out as right. We're on the same page. It was an incompletion. He could have done a better job, I think, throwing the ball. Ah. The and maybe making it where it's more of a 50-50 ball. He can make a play. Defense gets the big stop. Set audibles for this defense. And had they not picked up that first step, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? Kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying to run the field goal? Are going for it on the fourth down? But because of the Dang it. I don't have audibles for this defense. Um, I, I might have to um, call a timeout. Just a solid stop by this 
so nice to know you can start off on the first down with positive points. Positive yards and the football off. Set up a good second down. I can't, I'm trying to find my, um, my, uh, after the three My yards pick up, they come to the line, second and seven. Quarterback checking the play. Through the air, it's back. Got a man. Tackle after picking up the first down. That was a nice pick up. Um, finding the line. Finding the line. Concept. Option. stays there, if he holds his ground, well, he came in, so it doesn't matter. He, he comes after the QB. Pitch. Almost a little late on the pitch, but it's just in time. And you can see the block in there, uh, 72 and 18, sealing it off, sealing off the edge. All right. They'll try to add now to I got to be smart. I got to quit being stupid. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. I just can't control QBs and linebackers. Um, and I missed that tackle, and it costs us huge. I can't use that defense because um, I don't have audibles out there. My bad. Pitch. 
You know, they went QB design run, but there just was nowhere for the quarterback to go. It couldn't go outside, and there was just way too many bodies on the inside for him to get anything positive. They're losing it. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Snagged in the middle. Worthy performance. Ready? And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. What the heck? Um, I want Wildcat. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Moving the running back. Hey, 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 stay, the wide. To stay wide. Stay wide. We didn't get the block. Oh, they just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Crap. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming okay, in. Depending on what that safety does. Him the football, four speed it to him and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game. And the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. And he goes down the after a nice pickup. Okay, X is open this time. Oh, I got hit. Yeah. Right sure send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Put backspin on it. Come on, work. It worked. And this will push the offense back as they nice. move ahead at the 10. This punter is such a weapon. And because he's able to get that ball down deep in his opponent's territory, that really helps out the defense. You're now forcing the opponent to drive the field to score points. 90 yards in front of them as they start the drive with their own 10. Looking to go up top on first down. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big leads, and you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Defense and press coverage. Now the one for on third and short. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will lead them with fourth and two. And the Red Raiders will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll feel the punt and try to make something happen. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Iowa State sending the offense back out. After right. a punt on their last possession, they are set up in front territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense. Ow! Somebody shoot me. So you're saying there's a chance, Reese. I know it's not a big chance, but you got the ball back now. Maybe your offense can get hot. You can create some turnovers. Maybe get an onside kick. Who knows? I'm saying. Gets it to the back on the draw. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got ready for a first down. The Red Raiders. Dang it. That's well, a nice change up call on offense because obviously in the fourth quarter you're down by a bunch of points and everybody in the stadium is expecting you to float to the back of the game. So you dial up the run play and you get a huge gainer. Hopefully they can give this offense the momentum they need to try to scrape and claw back into this. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. I need a pick.
this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. On second down, he'll find. Pressure in his face, he will throw up. The pass is incomplete and they might be fortunate it was not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls out. They're trying to get to it. checking to make sure. Ready? And the Cyclones will snap it on first and ten. Get set, get set. Running back goes in motion. having to dive for catches. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will take the points. To this lead. Let's, let's keep it that way. Circle 
back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll start this drive from the 18-yard line. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man quick. That was me again. Yes, he was. He's tapping. Offsides. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Iowa State sending the offense back out. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you. Yes. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Back 
time on that. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the got zone too soon. Uh, it's another thing I don't do very well very often. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. As a defense, you hate to let them move the chains on a penalty, but that's what they did. It's first and ten. The toss sweep to the right. The guy over B blitzes. And he does it. Oh, this could be a touchdown. If B and X get their blocks, this is a touchdown. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And they didn't. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. They're calling time. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. A near disaster now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. Through behind his pass. He'll be brought down into the three yard line. An explosive play. On the doorstep. And that comfortable lead they enjoy right now is not slowing down the aggression. Not one bit. Well, I think at this point the coaching staff is just trying to continue evaluating their own players, and I don't hate the mindset. There's time on the clock. Keep trying to score. A first down run on the doorstep. 
not expect such a high scoring game. I did not expect such a big margin of victory. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. But the kick is up and good. It the game. It seems there's a play. Was uh, dagger. Uh, I don't know if that was the last game or a couple of games ago. They couldn't stop the dagger. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff. And this game stopped at the 17. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. This has been a really disappointing performance. Game, no question about that. But they can find some positive. Yeah, I don't know what the name of the play is even. Um, Jesse, coaches are pointing out. Look at this. This was open if he just ran the details to the right route. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. you got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build on, David, you're talking about. Um, is he going to call a play? Is the computer stuck? He's just, he, he's not calling a play. I think the computer, I think the computer just got clogged. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. That's weird. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost it. Lightouts all wadded up in a bunch. To the air, it's Morton. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. And the offense just going to spike it here. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Shoots it to the left. Oh, <laughs> I never can. That is exactly what get. you when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally uh, able to make the stop. The offense going to try again on another play. They'll just spike it on this one. I, I can never get... Um, Lined up. Uh, and now on to make a tackle. You know, I'm always my angle is always bad. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the line out. Like that. He's right there. I took control of him and I blew it. This is just nuts. And a nice touchdown. Continue to No, it's Continue just this one playing. It's pretty much old. over. Fashion. Multiple possessions Nuts. this late in the football game. It would take a miracle. A nice job by this offense. Continue to fight. Push the ball down the field. Make plays. He's looking to pass. He's got it. The third conversion is good. Just a couple of possessions down, so there is some hope. They're definitely up They're not going to do the They are. Possessions. They'll try the onside kick. This is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is in. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching plans, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offenses. Dial it up. And we're going to run. I mean, that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter it what other offensive players I mean, to let them score Everything that easily, so many times. The football in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game, David, this was just clinical offensive football. And offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things. There's so many tackles when I try to get take speed and space. And make that, those big crosses. So that's why offenses are ahead of my bad tackle. It was no different.
So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse so, I mean, we and win, but I don't feel good about it so at all. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. You know? Ah. Uh, I just don't. I don't feel good about it. So, we threw for 573 yards. They threw for 483. That's ridiculous. The third down conversions were 28%. That's good for us. But they didn't need third downs. They just they kept hitting uh, long balls on us. We got 46%. Fourth downs, three of five. I went four or five times. I threw two picks. Time of possession, outstanding. Almost 30 minutes to their 14. Ah, uh, man. Uh, Hanson actually threw a pass. <laughs> uh, I think I was on one of those RPOs, huh? Four touchdowns, two interceptions. Thirty-three carries, three broken tackles. He had thirty-three carries, and then catching the ball, Hanson had four catches for seventy-two and a touchdown. Higgins had five. He missed. I overthrew him twice, at least twice. Um, that's what I'm not feeling good about. I overthrew. I overthrew Higgins at least twice, and one of those would have been a touchdown. Just overthrew him. Look at the tight end catches. Nine passes for 105 yards. Couldn't get him in the end zone. Jackson, he's a senior, sophomore, senior. Uh, Hanson's a sophomore. He'll be back. But dang. Uh, I did get an interception, and I did take control of the guy when we got it. Who was it? He's a junior, strong safety, 6'4", 225, he's a big boy. So I did do that, but I missed so many tackles. Sacks, I think we just got one, right, a half and a half. Bacon and Snyder share it. Uh, now I just don't feel good, man. Uh, I've got to improve. Um, and our coach leveled up. That's nice. <sighs> Not enough. Iowa break school record in 59 to 44 loss to Texas Tech. What? That wasn't a loss. Something wrong with the computer there. We broke a school record. Iowa State breaks school record in 59-44 to loss to Texas Tech. I think we were supposed to lose that game. Uh, I think the computer thought it was going to beat us. Uh, that is just weird that they would say that. All right. Let's advance a week. Oh, we got a um, a commitment uh, from a guy, uh, Gerald, uh, left end. Oh, yes. Good, good, good. And he's a four-star, Leon, Iowa, he's from. We got another commitment from a left tackle who's only a two-star, but maybe we can develop him. Peter DeBerry from Altoona, Iowa. Brand exposure was a C minus. It's up to B minus. Very nice. Very nice. We're still a three star school. And Carson Hansen, our sophomore running back, and he's he's one of the fastest guys on the team. He has 92. I have a one other guy, I think, maybe two that have 92, but they're not starters. 
So he was Big 12 Offensive Player of the Week. Now we have Kansas. Kansas is next. Uh, I want to look at this. So let's see what the bracket looks like now. Same. Uh, Alabama, Tennessee. So Tennessee moved in there to play Alabama. Bama, it was Michigan. So Michigan must have lost their game. And um, where's, where are we? Oh, we're seed, seated number four. Oh, excuse me. I'm looking, I was looking at number three. That's NC State. We're seated number four. We were seated number three. So now we're seated number four, and we we face the winner of Michigan and Boise. So Michigan moved over there, moved over, yeah. So NC State is going to have to face the winner of Alabama, Tennessee. So far, I mean, there's still um, a lot of games to play. Let's see if they found a uh, an opponent for us in the Fiesta Bowl. Um, oh, Sugar Bowl all of a sudden. We got switched to the Sugar Bowl. And we do not have an opponent yet. January 1st. All right. Well, that's still good. And um, top 25, uh, we're still 12. That's where we were. Texas Tech dropped from 14 to 20. And the conference standings... Um, excuse me. It, it was there. There. So we're still one one game behind. I mean, but games played. Uh, Kansas State and Oklahoma. So I'm sure Kansas State and Oklahoma State are going to have buys, bye weeks, and we won't. So we'll, we'll get evened up on that. We're the only team undefeated in the conference, though. So we've got a lock on that if I don't screw things up. And uh, take I'll take a look at the recruiting and all that kind of stuff. I kind of want to look at the stats, um, the season stats. Um, there he is, 14 and 14. <laughs> well, at least I'm even. I mean, we went into this game uh, 10 and 12, 10 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. So at least I got it even. He's rushed for 829 yards, nine touchdowns. Receiving, uh, Noel is our top receiver. In Well, no, the tight end is as far as receptions go, 51. But he hasn't gotten in the end zone. Noel's gotten in four times. Jackson got in two that last game, getting him up to three. Higgins only has two. I keep overthrowing him, but he's a senior. He's a senior, sophomore, senior. So all of our wide receivers, we need wide receivers. We're losing our three top uh, wide receivers because they're all seniors. So um, we set some kind of record. Uh, it would be... Um, Oh, those are national records. It'll be for game. What record did we set? Ah, uh, there it is. 564 yards passing. Rocco. Rocco. Well, we broke a record. There you go. 2024, 564 yards, most passing yards in a game. <laughs> All right. And um, I'll take care of upgrading the coach and our recruiting. Uh, we need to find some uh, wide receivers desperately. So this is the guy that we, uh, that we picked up. He's a speed rusher. And uh, if we look at his scouting, Finesse moves 86. He a great tack. He's that, that that's good for a guy coming out of high school. His only weak spot that I see is his awareness and his uh, strength, his play recognition. Speed is 81. 
This guy is 6'3", 272 with 81 speed. I mean, he's fa he's faster than any linebacker we have. He's faster than anybody on the defensive line. And he's coming out of high school. Um, this guy's already committed. Uh, let's see. We've got this cornerback. Uh, he's gonna he's coming on a visit the next game. We got this tight end who committed. He is a four star. I did not get a chance to even scout him. Um, he's a vertical threat, but we have no idea uh, what kind of speed he has. But um, he'll be faster than, than the tight ends that we have. I promise you that. This guy's coming for a visit. This right end is coming for a visit. He's a run stopper at uh, 6'4", 285. This athlete... <clears throat> Is a run stopping linebacker. I'm uh, is, is but you athletes. I can assign him anywhere I want. These guys are all coming on visits. Um, Gibbs is coming on a visit. He is a deep threat. Now I also got uh, this guy Chocolate. <laughs> um, I want to uh, scout him. 95 speed. Huh? Huh? He's a road dog, and I don't know what best friend means, but he's one of those. Uh, let's let's spend... How many points do I have? Let's spend 10 more on him and get... He is a gem. We got a gem wide receiver. All right. Deep route running is terrible. His release is so-so. Catching traffic, so-so. Medium route. Yeah, he's not a good route runner. His awareness is awful. Uh, super fast. Um, I don't know. If I might redshirt him because the awareness and the route running is awful. But uh, he is a gem. Nice. Okay, so what I need to do is um, I'm going to pick up some more uh, wide receivers. to. Oh, you know what we need to do? Uh, we need to offer him a scholarship. <laughs> I can't schedule a visit yet. Um, let's send the house at this guy, though. 50, 50, we're going to spend 50 hours. Um, I want this guy. <laughs> we're in fifth place right now uh, on interest. But I think if I spend 50 hours on him, uh, that'll help that out. All right, I'm not going to go over uh, any more of this, but I am going to go, and, and I need to find some more wide receivers. And... Um, because we're losing a bunch of those guys. So, um, I know we won. I know that. <laughs> I know we're in good shape. It's just that I'm playing terrible. Just terrible. Um, when I try to take over a defender... With the exception of I did, I did take over the one guy and get a pick, but I made I missed tackles and it cost us big time, and the pick six cost us big time. The other interception cost us. I just I've got a lot of work to do on my my playing ability here, and I'm not happy about it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.